John chapter 13. Now before the feast of the Passover, Jesus, knowing that his hour had come, that he should depart out of this world to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And during supper, the devil, having already put in the heart of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come forth from God and was going back to God, rose from supper and laid aside his garments, and taking a towel, he girded himself about. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and wipe them with the towel with which he was girded. And so he came to Simon Peter. He said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I do you don't realize now, but you shall understand hereafter. Peter said to him, Never shall you wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, He who is made needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean, and you are clean, but not all of you. For he knew the one who was betraying him. For this reason, he said, Not all of you are clean. So we have washed our feet and taken his garments and reclined the table again. He said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then the Lord the teacher wash your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I gave you an example that you should also do as I did to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a slave is not greater than his master, neither is one who is sent greater than one who sent him. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I do not speak of all of you. I know the ones I have chosen. But it is that the scripture may be fulfilled, he who eats my bread has lifted up his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it comes to pass, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am He. Truly, truly, I say to you, He who receives whomever I send receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. When Jesus had said this, he became troubled in spirit and testified and said, Truly, truly, I say to you that one of you will betray me. The disciples began looking at another, and lost to know which one he was speaking. There was reclining on Jesus' breast one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter therefore gestured to him and said to him, Tell us who it is of whom he is speaking. He, leaning back thus on Jesus' breast, said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus therefore answered, That is the one for whom I shall dip the morsel and give it to him. So when he dipped the morsel, he took and gave it to Judas, the son of Simon the Spirit. And after receiving the morsel, Satan then entered him. Jesus therefore said to him, What you do, do quickly. Now no one of those reclining table knew for what purpose he had said this to him. For some were supposing, because Judas had the money box, that he was saying to him, Buy the things we need we have needed for the feast, or else that he should give something to the poor. And so after receiving the morsel, he went out immediately and was mine. When therefore he had gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him immediately. Little children, I am with you a little while longer. You shall seek me, and I said, head to the Jews, I now say to you also. Where I am going, you cannot come. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have loved one another. Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, Where I go, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow later. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you right now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, a cock shall not crow until you deny me three times.